In this video I want to demonstrate some cool new features in the new 1.37 version. It's not yet published but it's already available for projects. So the table edit 137 allows you to automatically populate items in the table with Power BI filters. The only thing you have to do is you have to add the Power BI filters and as you can see you can add as many as you want, so as, as many columns as you have in the table. But they need to, you need to rename them. So if you use, for example, the name and you, you drag it here, then you need to make sure that you rename them so that they match the column name, which you can without a problem, and which I have already done here. So I've added the name fields from the different dimensions that I'm using here and renamed them so that they have the same name as the columns here. And if you have done this, you can just add a new row and you can see a new record. It has been automatically populated with the filters uh, in Power BI is pretty cool to make it easier for your users to enter data. So in this case here we have a, a breakdown of um, expenses where the users want to break down items in a more detailed level and they have one to n additional items. As you can see what we're doing here is we're automatically assigning the unique ID which is the username and the time. So that to ensure that this is always unique that's the um, ID of the dimension that we're using here for the expense items and that you can also hide so if we go here now and uh, go to hide columns you can hide, hide column number one so that then the users wouldn't see that so you see that's gone now and if I add the new row I can see now only the items that um, I want to add for example the expense type if this is not already here this I can select from a link column that we have defined here and the other columns apart from the amount uh, uh, of course I want to enter uh, are already pre-populated even with uh, with the filter out when you click on a um, on a matrix so if you click on a matrix here that will automatically then use the amortization of goodwill and then you just click on save and the new record is saved with all these de details pre-populated so a great way to make it easier for your users.